All right, it's been a while, but we're setting up for the turn five level up with nothing but tier ones, just throwing our lives away looking for a buffalo. It's kind of like the olden days of pack two. Although, to be honest, the only reason I ever did that in the end of the life cycle of that pack was trying to get the 50-50 shop. And that's pretty much impossible in this version of the game. The chicken just isn't up to it in this pack. It doesn't have the support. I mean, it can go pretty wild in custom packs, but in this one, there's no mushroom. Um, there's very few ways to multiply up the chicken's ability, so I think 50-50 shop is off the table for now. I'm sure someone will get it sooner or later, but um, I don't really fancy grinding for that one. It's going to take a long time, I think. So now the buffalo is sell three friends, gain plus two, plus two. But there is actually no restriction anymore on how many times you can do it. I guess it's it's kind of an automatic restriction in the sense that you're not likely to ever sell nine pets in one turn. Although technically you can do it. Um, and that's partly why I've got the goldfish here. I'm going to save up gold so at some point I'm going to be able to get um, a really good turn where I can um, buy sell a whole lot of stuff and scale the buffalo very quickly. But of course it would be much better if we had another buffalo or maybe three to try and um, increase the value that we get from each of these buy cells. You could also have shrimp, of course, but um, I think uh, I've played with shrimp enough in this version. Uh, we're gonna just try and see how the buffalo gets on by itself. Now, we, we were down to uh, one heart very quickly with zero trophies, but buff the buffalo is big enough now that putting garlic on it is probably gonna carry us a, a few turns at least. And then we can look to find something stronger. When you are playing against all packs, which I am here, um, and the main reason I do that is because Anglerfish uh, lets you steal stuff from other packs that you would otherwise not have access to in probably pack. Um, you do kind of, at times it feels really unfair. You know, you get matched with these really busted pack three teams, but then the next team you face is some golden pack team that just you know, they've got no chance with their uh, very weak stats and the, the big garlic unit can just, um, you know, plow through the whole of the opposing team. So we get the second buffalo in and now I'm bringing in the third one and we freeze up a chinchilla and the goldfish is, is accumulating gold. So at some point I'm going to be able to activate all three buffaloes in the same turn multiple times. Again, we get matched with golden pack which is good because, again, the garlic works out really well. And then we've got the um, uh, the chili from the tar as well, if necessary, although here uh, it wasn't. And I think, do I sell the goldfish this turn? Yeah, it's five. It's not great, but I can't keep waiting forever. Generally, if you're going to hang on to goldfish for a long time, you probably need to have more lives. And here I was just a little bit worried. So we're going to try and activate the buffalo multiple times. So I think that's two activations. We get a chinchilla. And I think that's going to mean that we're going to get a third one. And yeah, here I realized that the goat is probably better than the stonefish. Because it will allow us to refund some gold next turn. And therefore potentially uh, activate the buffalo twice. Um Maybe three times is a bit of a push because the longer the game goes on, the less likely you are to find Chinchilla. But uh, we're doing okay. We've got we've still got one huge unit, but the other two are starting to get up to uh, a usable range. Now, I do have the other one frozen, although if we're going to use the goat, we don't really have space for that. And I think actually I'm just going to end up combining uh, the fourth buffalo in order to and um, scale the third one a little bit faster. And then we'll just take Hatching Chick for the turn for the plus four four. Hatching Chick feels incredibly good in this pack. And I think when going against other packs, it sometimes feels almost completely necessary. Uh, this was very scary, Tiger Snake. But actually, we're, uh, the rest of their team had no stats after the first unit, so we were okay in the end. Another goat, so we can actually um, do some buy selling here. Okay, I'm just going to combine the, the goats to begin with. But we can do the old um, trick where you combine the goats in order to reset the trigger count. Now here, Anglerfish is also an auto buy because you're going to get um, another sell for free because the unit that the Anglerfish 
Um, and well, actually, it's not just for free, you're recovering one gold. So now we can combine the goats and reset the triggers and we actually get another anglerfish, which is gonna mean we can do another double sell. And actually it's gonna give us skunk. So I, I'm, I think I'm not gonna sell the skunk this turn. I'm just gonna uh, keep it for the turn. Um, I think we, did we manage to get three uh, activations there? The stats on the buffalo certainly look like we did. Um, and this time we get matched with an actual pack two team. Uh, with Chameleon, which is always scary, but uh, looks like we're ahead of them in terms of scaling. And although I really want to keep the units from the other packs that are otherwise inaccessible, I think uh, keeping the goat is the right decision here because we're getting so much uh, value from the the four gold that it's going to refund every turn. If you think about it, if you activate the buffalo twice, it's like it's like a level two buffalo in the old version. Um, I guess it's just the difficulty in activating it twice that's the problem. So I take the melon helmet here because uh, I'm going to be able to get the free melon onto the third buffalo that has no equipment in a couple of turns. And I, I decided four squad is fine where our stats are, are big enough. Uh, oh, <laughs> always nice to see someone trying to use armadillo. I'm not sure what was supposed to happen there, but it didn't really work out for them. Another goat, so again we can use the trigger reset. Um, if you don't know how that works, once your level two goat has run out of triggers, you buy the level one, and then you drag the level two onto the level one, and it will give you another two triggers at level two, which is very powerful. It used to be uh, even more powerful with uh, things like alpaca in the previous version, but um, it's since been changed. You can do the same thing with a uh, sauropod, which is also in this pack. Now, uh, what can we go for here? I think we could probably take the, um, well, we, we could have bought, sold the, the Stingray, but I think I decided I would rather just get the Melon next turn. So we could actually um, replace the Garlic here by taking the Puma. So it will cause the Toy to activate twice in the next shop phase. And that will mean that both the two Buffaloes at the front will get Melon. And actually, am I gonna sell the Goat? I can't remember. I think I do sell it. Clearly, I'm quite attached to it because I'm thinking about it for a long time. But yeah, the goat's going to go because that's going to activate all the uh, buffalo. Of course, if you only end on two out of three cells, it doesn't carry over to the next turn. It's just the same as things like uh, Bird of Paradise. Uh, this team, another pack one team, I think we should be okay. Would have been slightly different there if it was old turkey because uh, the deer would have killed the buffalo, but we're fine. So we get the double melon now. So Puma is just so strong. And I'm actually going to take the level up here to make sure that um, the uh, third buffalo can um, scale up a bit quicker. We get chinchilla as well, which is excellent. Definitely should buy cell stingray. And I could probably take the sock instead of the, uh, yeah, because we're on eight trophies, definitely need to take sock over the scaling. Um, we're going to get close to 50, 50 with the original buffalo anyway. And I decide to actually sell the puma and replace it with another one just to get the activation. And um, the if you don't know, the, the sock essentially works like the skunk except it's even stronger i think it's 40 percent health reduction instead of 33 so it's it's a very good tool to have at the very end when you're on eight or nine trophies bring it in you know you don't necessarily need to scale anymore and you can really um, mess with some teams taking 40 uh, 40 percent of their highest units health and so now we actually get the fourth buffalo and i think well we're <laughs> We might as well go for it. So I'm just going to roll down and see if I get the fifth one, which I don't. Now, I could have just carried on rolling, but I decided I would just take the pancakes and then you never know, we might fluke a draw. And we get matched with this uh, level three anglerfish team. And it's kind of hard to tell what's going to happen because there's a lionfish but the lionfish leaves the big buffalo alive on one HP, which allows it to kill through melon for the draw. That was so lucky. But now I'm deciding, do I 
roll down for the fifth buffalo or do I buy the mongoose? And I think I had to roll down. And unbelievably, we get it with six gold remaining, meaning I can also buy the pancakes. So out of nowhere, we've got the five buffalo opportunity, the new version of buffalo, and we get matched with golden pack, which is almost always good, unless it's the uh, bird of paradise plus um, silver fox gold build. And here their flycatcher has nothing to do, and um, it's going to be a very, very easy win for the five buffalo team. That was actually by pure fluke on the first attempt. So I think buffalo definitely still strong. Not sure how much more interesting it is, but it's definitely more difficult to play, and I think that's a good thing.